this is Nindy Curran. Welcome to another Nindy's Creative Corner video. I'm going to show you how to make a belly band for a mini pizza box and how to keep your um, pizza box so it will stay together better. So let's get started. Here's your pizza box. The shiny side is the inside. It's food safe so you can put food in there without worrying. Um, we will go ahead and use some tear and tape along this part here with the circle cut out and along this inside fold. And on these little side flaps here. If you want, you can put them on both edges. I'm just putting them on the outside, which will flip around and become the top edge. Now we'll get our bone folder and fold everything. We'll crease everything. Just looks so much better if you use a bone folder to crease all the fold lines. All the score lines, I should say. Forgot to do those little ones. Well, we will do that now. And remove all these little pieces that come off. Oh, we did that one. I need to do this one still. Okay, so we will remove both pieces from the bottom edge, bottom front edge. And fold it over, match it up, well, almost match it up, there we go. The same on this other side, and then fold this down. We'll use our bone folder to just rub and make sure the adhesive sticks. Now we'll do the same for this and this one. Fold them both in like that, and hold it in place while you put it there, and then you can un oops, unfold this one. I guess I pushed it funny. And then we just tuck in the edges. And front flap and there's our pizza box and when you open it it will not flop open okay we will make a quick belly band for it I'm using a 3 inch by 11 inch piece of shaded spruce and turn your box so the bottom is facing up Make sure it's lined up straight along the edges. Fold over, crease with your fingers, crease with your fingers again, and again, and again. Now we'll go through and crease with our bone folder. Oops. 
and then just make sure it's lined up so it's straight. Okay, put your box upside down again and decide which piece is going to be on top and which is going to be on the bottom. Looks like we got it a tinge. And you don't want it super duper tight because you do want it to be able to slide off. And it does have these little things here to go over. Unless, of course, you're smart and do it the other way, but you can't always guarantee. All right, so we're going to have the short end on the top. So we will put our tear and tape on the underneath side of that. And we'll put the tear and tape on this side of this one. She only wanted the belly band to stick to itself, otherwise you won't be able to open your pizza box. So remove both the pieces of adhesive backing. Stick your bone folder underneath so there's a little room. And line up the edges. And there you go. Moves out easy. To decorate it, we will use this ribbon. Just wrap it around the box, take it to the center, leave, I don't know, around six inches on each side for a bow. Trim it off. And to help the ribbon stay in place, we will use some snail down the middle of the top and the bottom. Don't lay it all the way down. I should have brought my silicone craft sheet. Well, I will use a big shot envelope thing. That should help. All right, so fold your ribbon in half. And the bottom is facing up and we will put this center part in the center back. Running along the snail. To about the middle. And about the middle again. And we'll tie. You can tie your bow either direction you want. Mine usually ends up not exactly straight. Try to even out these pieces. Okay, there we go. So there's a simple belly band. You can add a tag or some stamping if you'd like. And the receiver can slip off the belly band and get to the inside treat or gift. And putting it back on is fairly easy too. So hopefully you, you enjoyed this and thanks so much for watching. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel to get a email every time I post a new video. Thanks! Bye! See you next week!